Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Justice League and the movie is directed by Jack, um, Jack Snyder. The actors starring in it are Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, um, J Jason Momoa, Ray Fisher, Amy Adams, Diane Lane, Jeremy Irons, J.K. Simmons, Amber Heard, Joe Morton, um, Connie Nielsen, and Sharon Hines. And here we have Batman. Trying, working alongside one Woman, trying to recruit people with special powers to stop this new threat from coming. There's a dark threat coming. There's, there's going to be to destroy the world, and they had to form a team to stop this threat and save the day. They try to save everybody. This is their planet. This is their home. They don't want to get destroyed or taken over by evil, so they got to stop this threat from happening. That pretty much what it's all about. Yeah, that pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Now, before I get into the good stuff, let's start with the bad. The bad part is about the Justice League movie is, well, the special effects at times, a little bit too much CGI. Now, you had Steppenwolf in it, and I didn't think they should, it could, it should, it should, they should have used a CGI monster to pretty much be the bad guy. I think they could have used a, like, a real person in armor, and that would have been just a, a more effective, because he would have felt more real, more realistic, because he, he never felt like he was actually there. And so... Since he wasn't there, he didn't, he didn't come up as intimidating as I, like I wanted him to. I mean, I, I was scared of him. He was doing a lot of damage. But I wish he was a, actually a real person instead of just a voice and a, a CGI monster. Yeah. Since we're talking about CGI, I got to talk about the, um, Cyborg. Cyborg's Rich Stone. He's played by Ray Fisher. And he didn't look great to me. Again, the CGI part was didn't look not good like good for him, and and, and seeing his real face on top of his body, it just, it just didn't look like it matched everybody else who's on the screen. Cause everybody else is real, and he's the only person that looked that looked fake, and he so he pretty much stood out the most. And he also wasn't that developed as a character, so he, he was the weakest out of the out of the group. So that was kind of messed up. Yeah, but I like Cyborg. He didn't have none of the personality of Cyborg, so it, he felt his person his he felt the most dry. And, and and not the most life lively as a person. Everybody else has always been kind of, even though uh, Jason Momoa as um, Aquaman was has been that established. You actually did like him when he's on screen. He has a little bit more personality. He he's a little more um he he's like, almost like a little bit like like Conan, but he's also this has a funny moment with him as well too. I I, I really did enjoy. And Ezra Miller, he's more like the comic relief, so I I, I really did enjoy his moments as well too. And Gal Gadot is always amazing, and I actually do like I actually do like Ben Affleck's Batman. I actually did, I really did enjoy his performance. So he's the only person there who had the weakest of the personalities. Yeah, and and other has other CGI issues in here as well too that I thought was kind of weird. It just didn't look right. Yeah. So let's move on to the so let's move on to the good stuff. The good part is. I actually did enjoy them as a team. I think they, I think they most of them, most of them they, um, worked together quite well. Um, Jason Momoa was fantastic as Aquaman, even though that's not, that's not how Aquaman really is in the comic books. But I did enjoy his performance and his portrayal of Aquaman and, and this version of him. And I, I really did like him because every scene he was in, I enjoyed. And also Ezra, Ezra Miller, I really did enjoy his his. his his personality and his, his portrayal of the Flash, I did, I did like that. I thought sometimes when he was running, that looked kind of weird to me, cause they, cause they didn't have him like, like running like, like a track star. It almost like he was like trying to like, 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 like swim in the water with me while he was, while he was running. His arm movements was, was still kind of funny to me, but other than that, I, I still enjoyed him on, on this, on the screen, the things he was doing, and the special effects, the parts that worked, that worked, look fantastic, they look great. And Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, oh my gosh, she was amazing. She had a scene in, like, earlier on in the picture where she was saving these people's lives and the guy shot his, shot his bullets at her and she was using her super speed. I said, oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so good. So, and the bad guy, they took on the bad guy, was fine. I was, I was great. It didn't blew my mind. You actually knew who was going to win. But still, nonetheless, I still enjoy them as a team coming together and saving the day. So the story was great. I did enjoy that. It made sense. And even though they, 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 they changed certain things from the comic books, but I did like this version because they had it like Steppenwolf was like was there before and, and people from different like had to come together to stop them from pretty much Stop an apocalypse from coming to Earth and stop the dark side to coming to Earth, and so they had to come together. And the mother boxes played a huge part on on um, on 
humanity and um, Atlanteans and the, and, the, and the Amazonians working alongside one another to pretty much stop this threat. And, they, and each of them hid one of the boxes and guarded it. So, so, so if he did come back, they won't, he won't be able to find it. And if he did try to find it, they could stop him off and fight, fend them off. But, well, it is what it is. So, I like to give me a grade. I'm giving it a solid B. I'm giving it a solid B. I really didn't enjoy it. It's not perfect. It's not quite there yet, but it's it's it's, it's not. I think I don't think it's as good as Wonder Woman, but it's it's, it's an enjoyable, and I really did enjoy it because it has, like I said, it has some weak has some weak, weak moments in it. But overall, pretty good film. I left the movie happy, and and I actually wanted to see more of this and see them improve and get better. And also, it, it also is an end credit scene at at the end of the movie too. So that I like how I see I like how I see how Marvel I mean, DC is trying to change their ways a little bit and trying to fix the problems that they were having and, and make them better. Cause I I, cause I really did enjoy the characters on here, the characters that that um how they portrayed them and they didn't they, they didn't do anything that I thought was like just I like character or, or or dumb and the humor within felt like it was forced or put it on you like just like thrown in there just because they thought they had to put humor in it. it actually felt natural and I really did enjoy that too. So. Like I said, don't take, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. I don't know anything. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. But I recommend it. I said go see it for yourself. So, give my channel a big old like, the thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. That's two movies now. That's two. Wonder Woman and now Justice League. Right now DC... You're on your way. You're on your way. Not there yet. Don't celebrate too soon. But you're on your way. Peace out, uh, peoples.